Hi everyone, it's Casey. Happy Saturday to you. Um, today is a little bit different than a normal Saturday for me. Normally, my mom takes my son on Saturday so that I can work on my doll business, but my mom had surgery yesterday and is currently in the hospital. Um, as far as I know, she's doing well. This was a planned surgery, which really doesn't make too much of a difference um, because she's still not well, but I think she's okay. But that being said, um, my son is with me and he's currently taking his nap. So I'm trying to get a video made before he wakes up. So I'm also talking kind of quietly. So I hope you guys will all be able to hear me. So because I have my son, I don't really have a complicated video planned out. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that are happening. The first thing is um, I received this doll in the mail. Um, she is a Goldie and she's a very popular doll. And a luck lucky me that a doll friend of mine wanted to gift one to me and I was completely floored and surprised. Um, and she sent her to me and I received her uh, a while back um, but I hadn't decided yet what I was gonna do with her because the doll you know is is kind of more of a valuable one however this one has had some alterations already done to her um, so her eyes have been sanded her face has been sanded her makeup's been removed um, so I'm probably going to do something to her. I don't know if I'm going to completely carve and customize her or if I might just um, sort of fix some of the, the things, fix her makeup and her eye eyelids. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, I just wanted to show her to you and tell you that some videos with her might be coming soon. We might try some light customization on her first and see how that goes. The other thing is, is I do have a brand new custom. This was the Sprite Beauty that I showed you in a previous video that I got, and this is her finished. It does sound like she already has a mom, so I was planning to take a few more photos of her today for her new mom. So I thought maybe we would make a video of her and I'll show you a little bit of my photo process. Um, I usually take photos in my house. I'm lucky that I live in, a, in an apartment that is really bright and has a lot of windows. Today is a very rainy, cloudy day, so when the clouds are nice and white is the best time to take photos. Right now they're getting kind of dark again. Um, but we're going to try to snap some photos of her and I'll at least show you what I do as far as my setup. So I just have a little tiny place in my house um, where I take photos and you probably can't tell in the photos that it's really just in the middle of my kitchen with all kinds of chaos going on around it. Um, but these dolls don't really need a large space but with any type of product photography or photography in general um, I'm definitely not an expert photographer, but from taking doll photos over the years, you definitely want natural light if possible. So the other things that you'll need um, for ph photographing Blythe dolls, or at least what I use, uh, I use kebab sticks or skewer sticks. Um, you can buy a pack of a whole bunch of them at the grocery store, and I usually break them off for smaller dolls. Um, so that and then I don't have the packaging for this, but it's it's sticky tack And I think that's what it's called and it's basically People can use this for posters or whatever you can stick this to your wall or your floor or whatever and it won't it won't damage it and I use this for the bottoms of their shoes if they are having a hard time standing or they're Sometimes their foot or their shoe, one seems um, a lot shorter than the other, and this can help lengthen the shorter shoe and also keep them from slipping. I also use this when I put the stick up. I put a little bit of sticky tack on the ground 
if there's not a good place for the stick to get a grip um, and the sticky tack will kind of hold it. So I'll show you how I do this. Um, I'm gonna move the camera over to where I take the photos and we'll snap some photos of her. Okay, so this is my kitchen floor area where I do my photos and you'll see that I have this wonderful bright window right here. Um, and that's kind of the window that I put the dolls in front of. I also have the window over there. Um, and then there's another window, well, a sliding glass door. And I do have my ring light on. I don't normally use it for photography. I actually use it more to help me um, while I'm working. But sometimes when it's darker outside, I will sort of turn it on over there to kind of enhance the light coming from the sliding glass door. But anyway, so this is kind of the backdrop. This little tiny corner right down there is sort of where I set the doll up in front of and take their picture. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll show you what we do. Okay everyone, so over in the corner you can see my stroller wheel. So that's my front door over there and I have my stroller, my running stroller for my son. You can see the legs of a plant that I have in the house. That's normally an outdoor plant. Uh, it's inside right now because they're doing construction. And then the place where I position the doll is right in that little corner between the plant and where the closet doors to my washing machine start. So it's really a very small space. Um, someday I hope to have a larger space where uh, I can make more of a background. But for now, this is what I do and it's all you really need. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set her up to take photos. I'm not gonna talk through the, the whole thing because I don't want the microphone to pull the camera over. Um, but the only thing I wanna mention before I do that is just keep in mind that photographing these dolls can be really frustrating. It sometimes takes a lot of time and patience to get her posed uh, with the sticky tack and the stick in a position you like with her hair just right um, and not fall over. So bring your patience when you're ready to photograph. Um, so let's try it. got her posed um, I'll tell you just a minute about the camera that I use um, it's not a super expensive camera it is a Nikon um, one thing I will say if you're looking for a good photography camera is find one that you can put external accessories on that was one thing that I didn't know about mine. I can't put lenses or an external microphone on it, which is one of the main reasons I still use my cell phone to record videos. Um, but it still is a pretty decent camera as far as taking photos. Um, so again, I am not a photographer, um, but I can tell you what I do is I do, for the most part, use the auto settings when I take the picture. I just make sure I have great lighting and um, a great spot to take the photo and then I use portrait and sometimes micro I kind of do both um, and see which one I like better so you, and you can try different things like taking the photo farther away and zooming in or taking the very the photo very close up um, I usually do about 50 photos and about five of each pose in different ways because you might find you like some better. Um, so definitely take a lot of photos and give yourself the time to do that. So I'm gonna snap a couple of her and we'll see how they come out. Okay, you guys, I hope you had fun watching this little photography video. Um, I should have some new dolls soon. Little Dor this is Georgette, she has been adopted. Um, so check back soon if you're looking for one of my dolls. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.